Hello, everyone. Uh, this is Shi Cheng, the PhD candidate at the Institute of Computing Technology, Chinese Academy of Science. I'm very glad to be here to share our work, list aware retrieval, list aware ranking, truncation, joint model for search, and retrieval augmented generation. First, please allow me to introduce the concept of list aware retrieval, which mainly consists of two tasks. The first is re ranking, which performs a more refined ranking of the initial ranked list record from the large scale corpus. It utilizes the list level features of the entire list for ranking. And the second task is truncation, which aims to dynamically determine the optimal cutoff point of the ranked list. Uh, so to, to achieve this, truncation also needs to capture the list level features of the entire list to return an optimal truncated sublist. List aware retrieval gives the list with better ranking and shorter legends. It has many practical applications. For example, in web search, it can serve the cost of human browsing and avoid the interference of the wrong information. In retrieval augmented generation, it can compress the text legends processed by large language models and avoid misleading from the error messages. So existing methods treat re-ranking and truncation as two separate tasks. They model them and execute them separately, first re-ranking and then truncation. So the main research question in this paper wants to study is whether re-ranking and truncation can be modeled by a joint model and executed concurrently. In fact, previous spirit modeling in is, is not optimal. Uh, first, uh, it is hard to share the contextual information of the, of the document list between the two tasks. Second, it, <coughs> the error accumulation problem that the, error, the small error from the re-ranking stage can affect the truncation stage largely. So in this paper, we aim to jointly model re-ranking and truncation and perform them concurrently. Our model can, can <coughs> generate the final, final list that has been re-ranked and truncated. So the specific challenges to achieve it are, first, how to make the two tasks share the modeling information effectively. Second, re-ranking is a process of dynamically changing the ranking list. However, the truncation decision needs to be based on a static list. So how to perform them concurrently? And third, how to design the loss functions for joint learning of these two tasks? Next, we will introduce our method, GRT. It jointly models re-ranking and truncation and generates the final re-ranked and truncated list step-by-step -step like sequence generation. Uh, GRT adopts encoder decoder architecture. The global dependency encoder is used to capture the global list level features uh, of the input list by multi-head subtension, which can be shared by ranking and truncation. A sequential dependency decoder generates the final list step by step uh, with the decreasing relevance. And uh, at each step, it makes the truncation decision. If the decision is truncation, so the generation stops Otherwise, the generation continue. Now we start to introduce the specific model structure of our GenRT. Firstly, the feature layers of GenRT represent each document in the list to hidden state. For the feature-based tasks, we use the traditional learning to rank method to extract the feature, such as the P-rank, TFIDF, and the legends, and use it as a hidden state for the document. For the text-based based tasks, such as open domain question answering, we use CRC token in the interaction-based ranking model as the hidden states. Then the multi-header substitution is used to capture the list level uh, features of the input list by substitution among hidden states of the documents in the list. These list level features are shared between ranking and truncation tasks. Cross-ranking FFN is used to select the best output document at each generation step. It estimates the matching score between candidate documents and the historical hidden states at each step, and selects the document with the highest score as the output document. The dynamic ranking model is used to determine the dynamic ranking list at each generation step. It masks the document that has been selected in previous steps and ranks the documents according to the matching score from ranking FFN. 
Uh, now we will pro perform truncation. However, the truncation decision needs to be based on the bidirectional sequential information, but the auto grayscale generation can only provide the forward information at each generation step. So to solve this, we introduce the local backward window. It uses a strat grading strategy to select key documents behind the current step from the dynamic ranking list as the backward information of the current step. So in this way, the truncation model can get the bidirectional information at the generation, generation step. It can make the truncation decision based on this. Uh, it is actually a single layer transformer with positional embedding. For each step, it predicts a binary probability, probability distribution representing the probability of truncating or not at the current step. If the truncation is yes, the sto <coughs> then stop generating Otherwise, continue generating. Uh, now we will introduce the training of our GRT. In the training of RERAC, we propose the step adaptive attention loss. At each step, it, it obtains the ground truth distrib distribution of the input document list and the distribution of the predicted matching score uh, in the dynamic ranking list. Then it uses cross entropy <coughs> between two distributions as a loss function at each step. We also use the step-by-step -step lambda loss to fine-tune the pairwise relationship between re-ranked documents. So we combine this, this two loss function as the final loss function for ranking. And uh, as for the training of truncation, firstly, we introduce a metric for truncation and call it TDCJ. Uh, High-relevant high documents bring higher TDCJ, where low-relevant documents will reduce the TDCJ. So the TDCJ is a trade-off between the documents in the final ranked list. We use TDCJ to compute the reward of truncation or not at each step and use it as a binary soft label. We compute the cross entropy between the label and the predicted distribution uh, as a loss function for truncation. Uh, in the first epoch of training, the model only learned to re-rank. In this way, the model can obtain the basic ability to capture the relevance of documents. In later epochs, the model learns to re-rank and truncate alternatively in batches. So this is our experimental, experimental results. Uh, our experimental results on web search or ranking task. Oh, OK. Oh, OK. It's, it's a little wrong, yeah. Uh, we will introduce our inference of GenRT. Uh, our GenRT can achieve not only the re-ranking and only truncation, and the jointly re-ranking tra uh, re truncation pipeline. If we want only re-ranking, the truncation result at each step cannot be considered directly. So if we, want, if we only want to truncation, we can keep the dynamic ranking list unchanged at each step. So if we want to perform the re-ranking truncation pipeline, you, we can run our generality directly. Uh, this is our e experimental results on re-ranking task of web search. Uh, first, uh, generality without truncation outperform the mainstream list where re-ranking baselines show that our generative re-ranking is better. And the generality outperforms generality without truncation so that our joint modeling with truncation is better. And this is our experimental results on the truncation of web search. Uh, first, GenRT without re-ranking outperforms the mainstream uh, truncation baselines so that our generative truncation is better. And uh, GenRT outperforms the GenRT without re-ranking so that our joint modeling with re-ranking is better. This is our experimental results on the retrieval augmented generation of truncation task. Uh, we can see that compared with the fixed 40 legends, our generality achieves comparable accuracy with a much shorter retrieved list. It means the smaller token usage, smaller GPU usage, and the faster inference for large language models. And compared with the fixed, fixed 20 legends, our method achieves a better accuracy with shorter legends. So our generality can dynamically determine the suitable legends uh, of the retrieved list for each query. Uh, so in conclusion, in this paper, uh, firstly, we po point out the problem of separately modeling ranking and truncation in list-aware retrieval and propose that these two tasks 
can be concurrently done with a joint model. Second, we propose the novel model inference paradigm and the loss function to jointly opt optimize and perform ranking and truncation with only one model based on the sequence generation. And the experimental results on public learning to rank benchmark and open domain question answering tasks show that uh, our method can achieve the state of the art performance on both re ranking, truncation uh, for web search, and uh, retrieval augmented large language models. Uh, yeah, thanks for your attention. If you